It's a tasty segment of the competition, isn't it? The home and away, head to head. And Lindo had a horrible injury season last season. Now getting back up to full throttle and a crucial part of this Leinster effort, trying to defend their Heineken Cup title and be the second side to do it. Big pass, lovely Carney! The referee isn't 100% sure. Yes, he backed himself. He's got his body angle really low. And that, that's the try. Doesn't look as if his foot has actually gone out just before the ball goes down. Try given. Here we see Byrne. We see him, see him taking the ball on now. Backs himself. Just sucks in a couple of players. And all of a sudden, that extra yard on the outside, you see two Leinster players. But Carney, great finish. Burn. Just dinking that one across. Oh, it's beautifully weighted. Horgan cuts inside. Lovely balance. Carney, is he looking for number two? Wayne Barnes just checking this one out. Ooh. It was certainly worth going to the TMO, <laughs> but that's, that's quite a big decision because does he recover it? After undoubtedly he slightly loses control. Is it a knock on or does it roll back into his hands? This is a massive call. Massive call. I'm not, call. I'm not sure. I think on a 50 50 call you have to back the attacking side. Shane Horgan absolutely onside. Superb aerial skills again. And combined. It's very much a case of Jekyll and Hyde from Rob <laughs> Carney this afternoon. Big moment for the Scarlets. So we tick on towards 40 minutes, but the interception comes. And it could be try number three for Leinster. It's a long, long way for Horgan to go. But look at the gas from the man. Nobody gets anywhere close. Horgan did so well. He anticipated the ball because there were numbers out wide. But the, uh, the knees pumping. Great running style of blue shirts. The timing, the lines, the precision. It just needs to click once, and it's going to be Leicester to get that fourth try. Gordon Darcy. Good from Darcy. Yeah, and with the, with the start that Leinster had in this game with the three tries, it actually would have been close to abject failure had they not been able to get that extra bonus point try. The forwards getting involved, showing their skill, the likes of Healy and Jackman. The backs have enjoyed their match so far, and now the power again. So has the Irish rugby genius got his try this evening. Well, from this sort of distance, Brian O'Driscoll is virtually impossible to stop. Yes! Burn waits, and Darcy has worked very hard to get out on this wing, because he knows he's going to get a try. Great tracking back from the Scarlets. But here we see great finishing. But look, look at Easter being he slip, which is not good. And then she'll be hoping for even more. Jones. Lamont. Nearly always got past the first tackler, hasn't he, Lamont? This evening. Friesland. Oh, Connie! He's missed it. Here are the first points for the Scarlets. And it's Priestland with the chip that gets the collect and the five. Yeah, I just think Ooh, that Connie, he's so much better when he's actually attacking the ball either on the ground or in the air. And on the occasions where he struggled, and these little chinks maybe have appeared in his armory, it's been when he's been waiting for the ball. Lovely line for the run and hands too. Oh. <laughs> Could yet work. Another try coming for Leinster. Oh, Driscoll. Party time. And that will certainly be one of the easier tries that O'Driscoll scores in his career. But he'll take every single one. So are we seeing the champions in full bloom here? The Scarlets. Absolutely obliterated. Leinster will have a happy Christmas. They'll look forward to the final two rounds.